Dear learners, today, the focus of my presentation is, meaning of interview its types, merits and demerits. Let us first try to understand, meaning of interview. Interviews are a valuable research tool that offers depth and flexibility in data collection. An interview involves an interviewer asking questions verbally to a respondent. It is a research method and data collection technique that involves a direct, structured, or unstructured conversation between a researcher, interviewer, and a research participant, interviewee. The primary purpose of an interview in research is to gather information, insights, and data from individuals or groups regarding a specific topic, research question, or problem. Interviews can take various forms, including face-to-face, -face, phone, or online interviews, and they can be conducted in structured, semi-structured, or unstructured formats. Let me now discuss the various types of interviews. 1. Structured interviews. In structured interviews, researchers use a predetermined set of standardized questions, often in a fixed order. This format ensures consistency across interviews and facilitates quantitative data analysis. Structured interviews are useful for collecting quantitative data that can be analyzed statistically. 2. Semi-structured interviews. Semi-structured interviews combine predefined questions with open-ended inquiries. Researchers have a set of key questions but can also adapt and probe for more detailed responses. These interviews generate qualitative data rich in details and context, suitable for thematic analysis. 3. Unstructured interviews. Unstructured interviews are characterized by open-ended questions that allow participants to freely express their thoughts and experiences. Researchers use unstructured interviews to explore a particular topic deeply and gain a comprehensive understanding. Like semi-structured interviews, unstructured interviews produce qualitative data. 4. Group interviews, focus groups, group interviews involve a small group of participants, typically 5 to 10, who engage in a discussion facilitated by a researcher. Participants interact with each other, sharing their views and opinions, which can lead to group dynamics and richer insights. Group interviews yield qualitative data and are beneficial for exploring shared perspectives. 5. Telephone interviews. Telephone interviews are conducted via phone, making them suitable for remote data collection. They can be structured or semi-structured, depending on the research design. 6. Online, virtual interviews. Online or virtual interviews are conducted using video conferencing platforms, e.g., Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, or online survey tools. They offer flexibility in terms of scheduling and geographic reach. Online interviews can be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured, similar to in-person interviews. Merits of interviews 1. In-depth information. Interviews allow researchers to obtain rich and in-depth information from participants. Unlike surveys or questionnaires, interviews provide an opportunity to explore complex topics, experiences, and perspectives. 2. Flexibility. Interviews can be tailored to suit the research objectives and the characteristics of the participants. Researchers can adapt the interview structure and questions based on the context and the responses received during the interview. 3. Probing. Interviewers can ask follow-up questions or seek clarifications, enabling them to delve deeper into participants' responses. This probing allows researchers to gain a comprehensive understanding of the topic. 4. Participant perspective. Interviews provide a platform for participants to express their views, experiences, and opinions in their own words. This participant-centered approach ensures that their voices are heard. 5. Contextual insights. Interviews are particularly useful for collecting data within a specific context. Researchers can gather information about the environment, culture, and social dynamics that may influence the research topic. 6. Trust and rapport. Building trust and rapport with participants is essential in interviews. Establishing a positive relationship can encourage participants to share sensitive or personal information, leading to more authentic data. Demerits of interviews. 1. Time-consuming. Conducting interviews can be time-intensive, especially when working with a large number of participants. Transcribing and analyzing interview data also requires significant time and effort. 2. Resource-intensive. Interviews may require resources such as interviewers, transcribers, and recording equipment. Additionally, conducting interviews in multiple locations can incur travel expenses. 3. 
Subjectivity. Interviews are susceptible to interviewer bias, where the researcher's presence or demeanor may influence participants' responses. Researchers must strive to minimize such bias. 4. Limited generalizability. Findings from interviews are often context-specific and may not be easily generalizable to a larger population. The small sample size and qualitative nature of interviews can limit their applicability. 5. Response variability. Participants may provide different responses based on factors such as their mood, comfort level, or the timing of the interview. This variability can make it challenging to establish consistency in the data. 6. Ethical concerns. Researchers must consider ethical issues related to privacy, informed consent, and confidentiality when conducting interviews, especially when discussing sensitive topics. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Education and Teacher Education, at Shoking Bilal.